Explain the nature of saving faith and its appropriate actions. What is saving faith? Saving faith is really the faith that you have that saved you. But that faith didn't come from you yourself. So we need to clarify this once and for all. This is great from Westminster's Confession. Saving faith is really by the grace of God. Westminster's Confession calls it the grace of faith. Okay, saving faith is really the grace of faith from God, whereby the elect are enabled to believe to believe to the saving of the souls. Ephesians 2 verse 8 to verse 9 says, By grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing, it's the gift of God. You see that? Ephesians 2 verse 8 to 9 says, By grace you have been saved through faith. So faith is only a medium. Faith is a means to the to the end, which is salvation. So faith is a means to that end, salvation. And uh, that, that means comes from the grace of God. Because Ephesians 2, 8 to 9 says, By grace, you have been saved through faith. By grace. It's a, it's a gift of God. And this is not your own doing. Clearly, it's not your own doing. It's not on your own faith even. It is a gift of God. So saving faith is the gift of God. Therefore, Believing is something that we do, which is faith. But the gift that enables us to do is from God. You hear that? So our faith in Christ Jesus, put our, when we believe in Christ, put our faith in Christ Jesus, we got saved. Correct? Yes, it is correct. But that, that believing is something that we do. However, the gift that we need, the, a gift that enables us to believe in Christ, that gift is the grace of God. Is, is, is from God. That's the work of the Holy Spirit in our hearts. The means of saving faith is ordinarily brought by the ministry of the Word of God and sacraments and prayer and, and uh, as a means of strengthening our saving faith, okay? Sacraments confirm the Word and prayer takes it back to God in adoration and He settles all around His Word. So how do we respond? What are the actions for saving faith? Number one, we, uh, we, we, we believe and accept the authority and act on the scripture's command. Number two, we, uh, we trust in Christ, accepting Christ as, as, as acknowledging Christ as the only Savior. Okay. Number three is rest in Christ. So res accept Christ res and uh, acknowledging Christ. As our Lord and Savior, receiving, put, put our faith and rest in Christ, putting our trust wholly and solely in Christ.